What's up guys, this is Matt Tolbers. Today we're gonna to talk about dumbbells. I'm gonna show you the setup I got, and I'm gonna tell you the reason I got what I got. I've had a few different setups, and I'm loving the setup I have now. I've done my research, so hopefully this will help you out. So, what we got here is these core home fitness adjustable dumbbells. Let me get it not blurry here quick. All right, as you can see, it's on 10 right now. If you go towards the minus, it drops. Five is the lowest. So five is this nice little tiny guy, perfect. As you know, those Bowflex 552s, five when you go to five pounds, it's a big old weird awkward cone thing. You got the full length of it. So it's nice that you don't have to grab a full length with these, I really like that. And you only have to turn one thing right in the middle. It's very convenient compared to the other ones. You gotta turn it, dial it to a certain thing dial it on this side um, but yeah you, it goes up by five pounds at a time let me try to re get it there we go um, all the way up to 50 I'll show you what we got here's so here's 15 it's got a nice flat end on it so you can rest it on your leg it doesn't hurt um, doesn't have anything that sticks into your leg like I can tell you about here in a second and here's 50 pounds Perfect, not big, not very big at all. It's honestly like the same size as a, a regular 50 pound dumbbell if you picked one up, a hex rubber coated dumbbell. All right, and uh, one thing I really like about the fact it doesn't stick in your leg, I had, uh, you've probably seen them on Amazon if you're looking at <clears throat> for dumbbells, called Yes For All. Um, they got some good ratings, I guess it just depends what you're looking for, but me, I didn't like the fact I bought them. I didn't like the fact that it had that steel pole in the middle. I didn't think about it when I bought it, but it sticks into your leg when you try to set it on your leg to do any kind of like overhead press or, you know, chest press or whatever. I usually like to set it on my leg. And I mean, you can, basically you can't do it. You gotta like try to kind of like put it on the side or something so it just doesn't stab you. But I didn't like that. And also the fact it just takes forever to change the weights. So you gotta unscrew those, got all the way to the end. And, you know, put the little plates on. Hopefully you counted proper so you get the right weight. Put them back on on both sides. I hated it. I sold it. I only used it like once or twice and sold it. So, you know, that's just my recommendation with it. I wouldn't go that route at all if I was you. Um, I know it's cheap. You get quite a bit of weight for cheap, but it's just a pain and it's not good. Um, so, yeah, I got those. And then, as you can see, as we go over 50, that goes up to 50. So that's like my full set of 5 to 50s right there. You don't even need this stand. The stand is extra, uh, but you don't even need that. If you just you didn't have much room and you just wanted to just have this, because this is what comes with it, think that's five to 50 pounds right there for 299. It's an amazing deal right there. Um, these are, feel very solid. I use them all the time, had no issues. And then after I go up from 50, I use my 55 pound dumbbells. These are rubber coated hex dumbbells. I love these, these are amazing. I mean, they're, they're, they're just real dumbbells basically. Coop from Garage Gym said, you know, all the rubber coated dumbbells are basically all the same, no matter what brand you go with. I mean, it's steel underneath and just a little bit of rubber on the end. Um, but the reason I got these specific ones, these are cap rubber coated hex dumbbells. I got these because they're the cheapest you can find on the internet. I've looked through on the internet. They're basically close to a dollar. Most are all a dollar per pound. So say if you get the $60 one, they should be $59.99 online. Um, per dumbbell, so dollar per pound. The rest of them are all a little bit more, maybe it's $10 more per dumbbell or whatever, but that adds up quick. And the other good thing I really liked about these, these aren't Amazon, they're rated 4.6 stars with like, I don't know, 727 reviews or something. So obviously you can see people are happy with them. They come with free shipping, guys, and that's another big reason. If you want it with Rogue or a lot of these companies, you're paying a crap load for shipping. I mean, it was like, to ship two dumbbells to my house from Rogue was like 70 bucks or something like that. Um, so obviously you'd wanna buy in bulk if you're gonna do that, but that's the reason what I'm gonna tell you next is at this time, recently I've actually ordered, a, uh, I think I've ordered three times now, but when I did this, I didn't have enough money to buy them all in bulk, where even though I would've paid shipping, um, which is what you'd want to do if you're paying for shipping, you want to buy them all bulk. So I was only able to afford so many at a time because I have a lot of other crap I've been paying for. So you can literally order just this dumbbells at right now because you can only afford, say you only have a couple hundred dollars or $150 or whatever. You can order those dumbbells, ship to you for free. And you're like, oh, I got some more money. Now I can order a couple more, ship to you for free. You don't have to worry about trying to get them all in bulk. Like I'm going to get, this is their rep, um, rep fitness dumbbell holder i'm going with the red and black theme here but i'm going to be buying another one and i'm going to be getting right now i'm up to 80s i'm going to be finishing off going up to 120 pounds 
that's just a good number for me. I don't think I'll need any more than that. There's not much I do with any dumbbells bigger than that. But yeah, guys, this is the setup I have. Before this, I had this, not before this, but before this, I had the Iron Masters adjustable dumbbells. Um, the Iron Masters are amazing. They're the most solid adjustable dumbbell you can get, and you can go up to the most weight. I mean, they have a kit that goes up to 120, which I got, and then they have another kit that goes up to like 160 if you're like crazy beast. But what I didn't like about them, I, I liked them, don't get me wrong, but you can't compare to getting the real thing. They really can't. Those are so fast that they're literally like better than the real thing almost because of the price and the, just the amount of space it takes up. But the Iron Masters, I liked them. They're a lot better than that Yes For All dumbbell setup. But, and it had a flat bottom, which was nice. It didn't get on my legs and all that stuff or stick into my legs. But you gotta literally adjust both sides, pull off both sides on each dumbbell. So that's basically four sides. You gotta put your plates on, push it into the plate zone hall, keep it tight. You know, it's just time consuming, guys. And the, uh, the worst part about it for me personally was because it goes the regular pin, there's these shorter pins in there. Well, the regular pin only goes up to 75 pounds. So if you got if you're going up any over anything over 75 pounds, you gotta take it off and put on a bigger pin. And it's just it's and then if say if you went back down, you're like, oh at the end of the day, you just gotta retake those pins off and put the littler pins on. It just got old for me. It's just too much. It's like it never made me want to go over 75 because then I would have to retake the pins out, put the new pins in just to go up to 80 pounds and I don't know, sorry I'm moving my hands around guys, but uh, yeah, I just wanted to tell you guys that, not to get into too much craziness here, but I highly recommend this setup guys. If you can get, you get those two, if even if you just want to start with dumbbells, I would get those over the 5.52s for sure. I mean, they, they're just so quick and whatever. The 1090s are pretty good. Um, you know, because they'll go up to it, it go up to 90 pounds compared to 50 pounds. So, it, you know, maybe you want to get those. But I, I think this is the best setup you can basically get. Um, you let me know in the comments what you guys think. If you think this is a cool setup, whatever. Um, didn't have any issues really with shipping, except for there's like a mark. There's a little mark in one of these right here. Somehow it got whatever. But you know what's Amazon guys? If I complained, they would send me a thing. I could ship it back for free. No matter what, they'd send me new ones. So, you know, I, I personally don't care, but I haven't even cleaned them off. Right? I need to wipe them down. I've got them pretty recently. But, yeah, that's my setup, guys. Um, let me know what you think. If you got questions, guys, there's my new bench I just got. This is that Rep uh, AB5000. No gap. Look at that. I can basically be completely upside down working abs. That's that. I can actually go up even higher. It's not perfectly 90 degrees. That was an expensive bench, especially with that attachment and shipping. But I'm going with kind of the red and black. I'm loving rep right now. So, <clears throat> all right, guys. Well, uh, hopefully somebody watched that to the end. But yeah, if you guys like that, just give it a like. You know, comment and think about subscribing. I got more reviews and crazy stuff, and hopefully I can give you some info to help you out with your gym. But here's my gym right now, just in case anybody hadn't seen it. Kind of the setup, just a quick boom, 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 boom. Nice and heated AC, got my bars, got my other stuff. So I've got to have something nice coming here. I'm not telling anybody what it is. I'll show you. But yeah, I just got that like two days ago. Sold my other bench. But all right, guys, uh, I'll talk to you later. Peace.